All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, Ryan and Sophia, Sophia. here today. So, uh, kind of a big announcement, uh, somewhat, for the channel and uh, life in general, I guess. So, we have decided to kind of get back in trucking, quote unquote, um, besides the driving part. Um, so, we've been talking about it for a few weeks, if not a couple of months, I guess. So, we've been thinking about getting our own authority and actually leasing people on um, to drive, to work with us, not work for us, but work with us. Um, so there is a difference. Um, so like, I'm an independent person. I like to work independently. I like to have a loose relationship with who I work for. Um, but I like to have a family relationship. I mean, that's the way I felt at Landstar. It was good people. Um, and I... Like I said, I'm going to go off track a little bit here. Like I said, with Landstar, it's a really good company, and I felt like it was a good place to be. And uh, when all this COVID nonsense started up last year, um, you know, like in April or May, um, Landstar actually came out and said, hey, if you get a red tag, you know, where you, you test positive for COVID or whatever, and you got to stay home, quarantine for two weeks, they actually came out and said, hey, we're going to give you a $1,000 a week. We're going to give you two grand no strings attached um, to stay at home, basically. And, you know, as a contractor in this business, you know, you know, nobody owes you anything. You're not an employee. You don't work. I mean, it's a business-to-business -business relationship. So that really struck a chord with me that, uh, you know, somebody was willing to, you know, to pay my bills for two weeks if I had to stay home, which I never did. Um, but I know a lot of people that did take, um, that were able to use that program. So, I mean, it's... I felt like I was taken care of there, and I would like to offer the same thing to other people, you know, in a smaller knit community. So, um, you know, with with our new business going forward, we're building the shop. We have a location, um, have a lot of price, a lot of truck parking down there, yard and all that. Um, so we've decided to basically build a, another business as well, and then have some synergies in between the two businesses, uh, like like. You know, some maintenance discounts, reduced maintenance, some um, some type of promotions. You know, um, we haven't got everything together yet, um, so it's all kind of ideas in our head. Um, we're actually going to file for our authority here, probably within the next week or two. Get a, get the ball rolling on that. Look at insurance, and um, start getting on all the load boards and all that. And then um, we've actually had another partner that's going to be coming in with us. Um, you know, to help us run the business as well, uh, put some money in and all that. We're probably going to buy a couple trailers for guys that are power only to where we can uh, work out a percentage deal or a trailer lease or whatnot um, with, with, with the trailer situation and uh, kind of be like a mini Landstar basically, but like a lot closer relationship, you know, a one-on-one -on -one type relationship to where, you know, if you want to get on the load boards, pick your own loads or we can help you out and do the, a dispatching, dispatching or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's your kind of deal. With that, um, and then, like I said, we'll have a physical location um, to where we can, you know, do truck inspections, uh, maintenance, reduce maintenance uh, costs, and all that type of stuff. So, um, so it's kind of a big step, and uh, it's like I said, I love the trucking business. Um, I know I did a video, a couple videos, I guess, probably on the topic why I was getting out, um, and like I said. Uh, I love trucking. I like trucks. I love traveling. I love the business. I love getting out there and dealing with brokers and picking loads and and that feeling you get when you pick a load up. You know, a ten thousand dollar load from California to Maryland or something, and you know it might be tight, and you pick that load up and you get that adrenaline. You know, when you're bringing it in, and then you get paid, and it's it's just like a, a roller coaster ride. And I like everything about it. Like I said, my problem is the driving itself, and that's like you said, Sophia, just driving personally. Um, like I said, I don't play well with others anymore as far as that goes. So, I mean, driving is basically out for me for the most part. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, like I said, I want to stay relevant, stay in the business, and, and keep providing, you know, our experiences to other people out there. So, um, like I said, we've been talking to our, our, our future partners. we got a verbal agreement uh, for the most part, kind of loosely, and we'll be putting more together as we go along. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's a, there's a lot of potential, um, a good future, and uh, potential for other people that might be interested in coming on as we uh, go ahead. I mean, it's going to be a couple months, uh, but uh, that's kind of where we're at now, so I don't know. Yeah, on the, on the YouTube side, um, when we started a year and a half ago, while Ryan is on the road, we 
having, you know, driving mm -hmm. all over the place. Um, he shared a lot of very good, ex his own experience, you know, in my opinion, I'm not really too biased, but I know my husband is very smart in the business side. Um, even though he ha hates driving, but, but he's, he's very smart in the business side. That's why he, he brought a lot of good information to the community through YouTube. And then, of course, we, we got a lot of support from, from you guys. Um, we have a lot of followers, um, a lot of um, very good people encourage us throughout the, the, the journey on YouTube. So as far as um, YouTube side, you know, like we, we had a transition from um, owner-operator, um, over-the-road experience, um, tips sharing, to uh, transition to the business, to, to, to repair business. We share a lot of um, um, tips and tricks, how to uh, maintain your truck, do smaller jobs, bigger jobs. And you know, that's also a very, very important side of business, but a lot of um, guy, you guys on the road probably don't do your own maintenance. So we actually you know, feel some portion of our followers might get disappointed because Ryan is no longer on the road. You don't, you don't get the most fresh yeah, the, information. The updates yeah, and those, kind those, of the relevant business information, which like I said, YouTube is not why we're doing this. We're not doing it to, like I said, I said rel remain relevant earlier, but that's not really what I, I may, may have misstated that. Uh, I, I think it's a good um, it's a good business. I mean, mm -hmm. I want to stay in the business because I think there, there's value for us and for other people. Um, and, I mean, most people that know me, I mean, guys that have been here that I've, I've helped out with their trucks and stuff like that, I mean, I probably way undercharge people because... I don't know. I know how I've been on the other end of the the credit card, you know, swiping that, and I, I don't um, I don't know. I, I when I charge somebody for something, I charge what what I would like to pay, which is basically nothing. Um, but uh, I, I, I said I want to take care of people and build a, a family relationship with people, and um, I think so. I think we can make a little bit of money on our end, and other people can be taken care of and and have a good experience as well. Because I know there's. A lot of people get into like these 85% deals and all this other stuff where you're renting trailers and paying all the liability insurance and you're paying two grand basically a month before you even put the keys in the truck and stuff like that. And uh, I, don't, I don't think it's right. I don't like see people getting taken advantage of. And, um, you know, I'm not, uh, like I said, a lot of times, I mean, I basically take advantage of myself with a lot of people, uh, I think. And I don't know, I get yelled at a lot about that for not... <laughs> <laughs> not charging what I should be or, or letting stuff go and all that, but um, I think well, it, it pays dividends down the road when you take care of somebody, it, it comes back around, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, we, you know, it's also our dream, you know, to um, stay in the trucking business. You know, trucking business really was like two sides. One is um, you're driving, um, you know, on the everyday business side, you know, you drive, you, on the you know deal with low board brokers that's one side of the business the other side very important is maintenance you know how you maintain your um, your tool the, your truck is, is a very 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 important tool so we want to stay on both sides of the business you know I can help Ryan Ryan has totally a, a great amount of knowledge in in, uh, in driving and uh, dealing business side how to deal with brokers how to deal with um, shippers receivers um, he just have a ton of experience. We want to, you know, maintain in this uh, this trucking business. Continue to share our experience with other people. How to start a business, and also we also uh, we also want to focus on the, the repair side of business, so we can keep you guys going, keep you guys moving, and make sure you are keep uh, keep your tool, your equipment running to make you the most money. So we're excited to share this uh, this news with you guys and. Uh, means we're going to continue to stay in this business, continue to provide great amount of knowledge, uh, experience, uh, share, you know, education side. Um, we are, we were just excited about this to share, you know, share it with everyone. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I mean, it's kind of an, an I don't know if it's a big announcement, but it kind of an announcement. So I mean, we're, we're kind of moving forward with this. I mean, it's going to be probably a couple months before I think set up and I like to have the shop and everything set up down there so we kind of have a, a, a home base for operations and all that so where we can bring guys in do truck inspections and you know like i said obviously just like everybody else do a truck inspection and little orientation type of thing and all that which is you know required for for the most part 
Um, and then, like I said, get on the load. We're, we're going to be on the load boards and all that. Uh, I know I've already, we're, like I said, that's all coming down the line. So, um, but yeah, I think it'd be kind of a one-stop shop. I mean, where, where you could come in, we offer, I mean, a lot of companies, I mean, there's a lot of places out there offer you this and that and that, you know, um, but we want to offer kind of a total type of deal where we, um, maintenance, um, drastically reduce maintenance cost um you know uh maybe some type of oil promote oil change promotion or something 100 bucks oil change or something i mean I, I don't don't quote me or hold me we're still working out all the numbers and all that um you know every fifteen thousand miles or something like that 100 bucks for an oil change um well you know, the, and, the most important thing i think guys looking for is uh the support yeah you know when you broke down on the road if you notice something like jerking uh on your truck some new noise that you don't know what's going on. You know, you could go to take to a shop, you know, they're gonna brightly charge you a lot of money. Or you can talk to somebody like Ryan, give you the support, at least guide you through what could be wrong, what you might be looking to spend, or how many hours the shop might charge you. So you actually have a amount of knowledge before you go, go into a shop. So this way, you know, you, you avoid shop charge you you know tons of money and then you also prepare yourself for a month you know how much it might cost you and of course you know we'll, we'll have a repair shop you are, you guys welcome to come whenever it's convenient to you so yeah and and uh here in northeastern ohio i mean as most of you guys know um probably the best freight in the country uh, for the most part here in the up the midwest upper midwest um, like I said, especially like up here, we're at in between kind of Akron, Cleveland, Youngstown, Ohio, where you got uh, I-80, I-90, 71, 77, all these major highways through here, which, you know, east, west, coast freight. Um, I've always had good luck coming in and out, so I think it's a great location um, to start out in and all that and kind of base your operations out of. So um, I think it's kind of a winning combination myself. Um, so... Like I said, I've always had a good luck in this area, and I think um, eventually, like I said, we're going to get on the load boards, uh, sign up, you know, uh, XBO, CH Robinson, DAT, and all them, get, get signed up with all them. And then, um, you know, once we have a couple trucks, then uh, we'll probably start going out and grabbing our own type of freight um, that might uh, be a lot more lucrative for, for guys since there is quite a bit of freight in this area and then uh, and abroad, uh, you know, farther out of the rim here. Um, so, so that's pretty well where we're at. And like I said, we just wanted to kind of to talk to people. And like I said, if you have any uh, inexperience or mm -hmm. input you want to put in, I'd be uh, receptive to that or glad to hear uh, yeah, what anybody has to say. So since, we're kind of uh, newbies as well. You yeah, know? so this is this is something kind of new. Um, like I said, I, I don't. I don't want to be one of these guys on YouTube that sits on the sidelines like, okay, I was I was an owner operator for 20 years and now I quit and I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm not in the business anymore. But um, doing, you know, um, I'm I'm not a spectator. I I don't like watching sports. I don't watch football. I don't watch basketball. I'm not a spectator. I want to be I want to be the one out there on the field actually doing stuff. Um, so it's hard once we kind of left trucking and we had this channel, it was very hard. Um, I want to be, I want to continue talking to you all and all that, but it's, it's hard when you, we kind of switched to the maintenance thing, which is, I think provides a lot of value to people. Um, as far as, um, taking care of stuff yourself and putting that information out there, but I, I like the trucking business and I want to stay in it. So we're, we, we're going to stay in it. So, That's great. and, um, and, and provide, continue to provide relevant information and, um, to some people that might be willing in to, to work with us. I mean, um, I think it could be a good combination with, um, you know, the synergy between the two, two businesses. And, yeah. and like I said, um, we have a, a verbal agreement with a, uh, uh, partner. So, um, there'll be more to follow on that and, uh, maybe an inter introduction with them as well down the road. So, um, it's, it's a pretty interesting story. Um, a lot of the, the backdrop for that. Uh, so, yeah. um, like I said, there'll be more to follow. Sure. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much it guys. Um, please leave us a comment. If you have any insights or experience in this field, again, we're newbies. We're going to start out, uh, from scratch basically to this new business and, uh, you know, we need your help and also, you know, we'll, you guys will watch us grow from uh, from nothing to grow bigger and bigger. Yeah, well, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah. And as always, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Um, 
hit the bell for the updates, like the video, and... Like the video. <laughs> or if you don't like it, then... Twice. <laughs> twice or three times or whatever. Three times so this is going to be a like... Maybe we'll get the yeah, point. Three so, times. But, uh, yeah, three times. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.